Hey guys, welcome to Keys Mods. My name is David Fine. Today, we are going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite mods, the Gaudy Sphinx, Eumorpha Labresca. We've only found a couple of them in the Florida Keys. I've lived in South Florida my whole life, and I've seen a total of six of these guys and one caterpillar. Six adults plus one caterpillar. That's not a whole lot. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of walk you through my journey with this beauty, my experience with this beauty in my lifetime in South Florida. So guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a like, because we're gonna go over beautiful moths like this as we talk about the 600 species of moths that live in the Florida Keys. But guys, let's talk about the gaudy sphinx. The gaudy sphinx is without doubt one of the most beautiful and coveted moths that, that exists in North America. I mean, look at this thing's colors. It is an absolutely fantastic moth. This is a very fresh specimen, by the way. Uh, guys, deep, deep green coloration. They've got some really cool patterning there. Blue, yellow, green, and red hind wings. Stunning moth. Uh, the underside, kind of neat. Kind of has got a little bit of a sort of like a key lime pie thing going on. I call it the key lime pie moth. Uh, <laughs> just got that really cool coloration. What I would like to do is talk to you a little bit about my experience with this species. This is my web page on keysmoths.com. You can go visit Keys Moths, by the way, www.keysmoths.com and see all 600 species of moths photographed for you there. So check that website out. The website link is in our description. But the Eumorpha labresca, the guys, there's no other moth that is gonna be confused with this species, not in North America. Uh, it's, a, it's an absolute stunner. They live, uh, male and female, there's not a whole lot difference. The, the females will have a thicker kind of abdomen and a little bit more of a broader forewing, but that other than that, the sexes are very similar. I think the males might have a little bit more of a yellowish uh, coloration here on the outer hind wing, but uh, they live on uh, Florida and Texas, and they strayed north in some of the northern states, but they breed in Florida and Texas, but they can be found all throughout Central and South America and the Caribbean. We've found them on Key Largo and on Bahia Honda Key, uh, in fact, the, the only ones I've ever seen in the Keys, uh, two of them, both on gas station walls. So uh, I've never actually found one in, you know, at my light sheet while in a national wildlife refuge. They've both been actually in the city, which is very interesting. Uh, all of which have been found in the winter months. Now, on the mainland, we found them in, I have, I think, two specimens from the month of May and one in the summer, I think in the month of June. Uh, but I, the other two on the mainland were also in, I think the month of November. So for whatever reason, the, the winter months are more favorable for this species being seen. Fantastic moth. They feed on species of grape. Uh, we've raised ours on possum grape. In fact, we had one, a friend of ours found a caterpillar on a possum grape vine in their backyard and this is these are all photographs of that caterpillar they've got a pretty wicked cool kind of like snake mimic caterpillar thing going on that kind of looks like a viper uh very very neat bug uh, on the in the caterpillar form and they've got those kind of like those big fake eye spots like a, just like a snake uh another cool thing on the tip of the abdomen of the caterpillar they have this reflective little silver, silvery reflective piece right here. And what they do when they're disturbed, they actually flicker that for some reason. I don't know why, uh, but it's probably to draw attention away from the head of the caterpillar. But anyway, uh, caterpillars are brown. It's a large moth, so it's a large caterpillar when they're fully grown and they eat a lot, but they'll eat possum grape. Uh, they pupate underground just like the normal sphingids do. And, uh, and when they emerge, oh man, there's, there's no, there's no bugs like that. Not in the United States. So guys, the, the Eumorpha labresca, the gaudy sphinx, it lives up to its name because of all those amazing colors. 
Uh, it is quite a gaudy insect, uh, but when they are, as you can imagine, resting in their natural environment, like in a trees or something like that, they cover those beautiful hind wings with their forewing. And I, I would imagine they're quite camouflaged. If they're sitting in a bunch of leaves and they've got that green coloration going on, covering the blue and the red and the hind wing, uh, then they're probably going to be quite camouflaged. But uh, I remember I found one on a wall at FAU campus in Boca Raton. Uh, that was a long time ago. I found one, uh, a friend of mine called me that they had one on their front front doorstep, like literally hanging on the uh, on a wreath in the month of December, it, like on their Christmas wreath on their front door. And that's where we found one there. I, I found another one at a gas station in Broward County. And then we've got two in Key Largo, both at gas stations, both in the month of November. And then Jim Trowbridge found one on Bahia Honda Key. And, but guys, it's a rare, rare bug. And, you know, we appreciate this bug whenever we find them, but they, it is a tough one to find and it's, and it's not, uh, it's not commonly seen. So if you ever see a gaudy sphinx, if you're ever lucky enough to see one, you know, snap a picture and send it to me and I would greatly appreciate it. Or if you ever find a caterpillar, uh, we always love to photograph the caterpillars and um, take a look. They do go to flowers. They visit flowers. I, I have not seen them at flowers, but uh, there are flowers that are recorded that they will visit. Um, they are more active, I believe, in the later hours of the evening or actually early morning. The early a.m. hours is when they're probably most active in flight and they can be found at artificial lights, uh, you know, probably later in the evening. So uh, that's my understanding of of uh, they can be attracted by artificial lights. Um, I've, I've seen them in this in the American tropics in Central and South America, uh, a mercury vapor. I've just never I've never had one visit my light sheet here in the United States. So uh, still yet to have that happen. Rare bug, but I have a feeling there's more of them around than meets the eye. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video on the gaudy sphinx. Uh, again, not a whole lot to it because we don't have a whole lot of experience with this bug in South Florida. We found a few of them, but it's just not something that we see very often. Uh, so guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get connected with a really cool group of people, uh, check out the Southern Lepidopter Society. It's a group of a couple hundred men and women that have dedicated their lives to studying the butterflies and moths of the Southern United States. Uh, I've got a link to their website in our description. I think it's like 35 bucks a year. You can get become a member and get four newsletters shipped to your, uh, to your house and you can read about all the things that people are finding all over the Southern United States and get to really know, I've learned so much from this group and so I'm gonna give them a plug on just about every one of my videos. Uh, but guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and take care and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Thank you.